Hey, what's going on guys? This is Steven. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the most common retro effects. And by this I mean the uh, sunburst, the uh, stripes, and the rainbow. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to make a new document. And it's going to be 1000 by 960. This really doesn't matter. And let me just open this up a little bit. Alright, so now I'm going to grab my colors. And I'm going to start off with this orange color and this yellow color. This, it doesn't have to be these, these exact colors. Just make sure it's um, pretty close to each other. Or it could be like red and white. And yeah, you'll see. So it's coming over to your gradient. Hold on shift and drag from the bottom to the top. So dark is on the bottom. And then we're going to start off by making the stripes because you'll see why we need to do stripes first before the starburst effect. So we're coming over to filter, distort, and wave. And I usually keep it at these settings. If you want to write these down and do the exact same ones, you can mess with the wavelength and it's going to give you more lines for each. So I'm going to just stick with 38 and 38. Oops, you got to make sure they stay the same. And click on OK. Oh, and also make sure it's your on square. Because if you have any of these other ones, it's going to look a little bit funky. Square is best. Okay. And right now, this is a retro effect with um, these stripes. And you can leave this. You can also rotate it slightly. Like that. And these you can extend out. Because it's just a gradient. And, oops. Just going to hold down shift or zoom out. And hold on shift and just scale this out. So right there you see this quite often with the slanted lines. So let's go ahead and make a new layer and we're gonna make the starburst. And for this I guess I'll make it look more like the kamikaze look. So it's gonna be red and white. So I'm gonna drag uh, drag out this gradient, make sure it's red and white, hold on shift and drag from the bottom to the top. Go to filter, distort, wave, and I'll just keep these same settings. And then filter, distort, and polar coordinates. And you can see this is the look that you get. Make sure it's on rectangular, rectangular to polar. And click on OK. I'm gonna, let me just scale this up a bit so it doesn't look so funky. All right. So you can use this, and a cool effect is if you come on over to Google Images, and I just searched for old paper, and I believe it was the first image. Just right click and go to copy image. I'm going to make a new layer, and just paste it right above it. And then come on down to multiply. You can see it gives you a really nice grungy looking effect. Alright, the last one I'm going to do is the rainbow. So let me just hide this because it's easier to work with, <laughs> to look at. So to start off, I'm just going to draw out a, uh, a strip. And then I'm going to select this red I have here. Here's the code for it. OK. Alt Backspace, and then Control D. Then I'm going to grab the Move tool, hold on Alt and Shift, and drag it over. And I'm going to make four copies, so there's five all together. So this is going to be three, four, five. Okay. So I'm coming to the second one. I'll hold down Control and select the thumbnail. And I'm going to select the second color, which you can see the code here. Alt Backspace, Control D. Third layer. Do the same selection. And I'm going to grab this yellow. For the fourth one. Grab the green, you can see the code. And then the final one is going to be this blue color. Okay. Control D. And then I'm going to select all five of them and click on Control E. And that's going to group them all in, into one layer. So then click on Control T. 
and hold down shift and I'm going to drag it so it's laying horizontally. Let me drag this out so it reaches the end of the page. We can actually have it go out a little bit. And you can leave it at this or you could do a cool effect. Let me scale it down a little bit by going over to warp and changes from custom to uh, flag is nice. Whoa, that turned out weird. Let me just end that, control T, go over to warp, and then select flag again. Okay, that worked better. And you can leave it at that, or I like this one best, is arc. And then I change this, lower that down, and it looks like it's going down the page. Uh, we can just drag this underneath that grunge effect, pop that open, and that looks kind of nice. Alright, so that's going to end off this tutorial. Uh, if you have anything you would like me to do a tutorial on, just send me a comment on YouTube or pixelforlife.com. Leave it as a comment, and I'll get it out as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching, and see you next time.